Hey everybody, Anthony, 4 before 4 Diesel. We're going to try and fix a problem. So Mitch, when you've been driving the uh, Commodore here, the VX Commodore, have you noticed that stiff accelerator? Yep. It's a pretty common problem on the um, VTs and all that, and probably a lot of cars, but let's just say this is general information. I'm going to show you how to fix it, hopefully. Um, I'm going to tell you how to fix it. I'm going to show you a way to fix it for free, hopefully, just some of your time. By the way, mate, nice K-On t-shirt you got there. That's an awesome colour. I really like the K-On in charcoal i need to get some myself so let me hope just press that accelerator really lightly it's sort of like you press it it doesn't move and then it goes like that see that's very good can you do that again you're lucky you're not a professional foot model mate everybody on youtube is going to see your feet that's it see how that's happening people you push it so can you imagine when you've got the engine running with all the mighty grunt of the v6 the mighty grunt of the big v6 3.8 liter v6 what a massive engine in a little sedan compared to a three liter diesel in a big four-wheel drive or a 275 cc anyway it's a bit of a change isn't it so what we got here we still got a cable see the cables come around one's for the cruise control and one's for the uh you know to the throttle body so what we traditionally did is I used to replace it with a genuine um, cable from your Holden dealer in Australia, GM, Holden, whatever. And I think they were about, I'm just going from memory here, I don't know if they retailed for about 40 bucks and I got them for about 20 or either way they weren't expensive, which is why I just use genuine parts even on these. Um, now these days, well, Holden's gone and I don't know the dealers if there's any parts and all that. Let me know in the comments, people. People who have got cars like these, can you still get genuine coils and leads and, and whatever, right? We've got a bolt missing off the nut missing off the top here i'm a bit disappointed about that you know but i like to chase one of those up top hose is getting a bit saggy there something else we've got to fix up rubbing on there but we worked out that's to do with twisting this white that needs to point upwards and that'll twist that way bringing this up you know what i mean but look back to the cable right let me know though um and if anyone can notice that smell um i've just sprayed some crc down here under where the Years ago, it must have been a battery leaking. It's all old, but I know you can't smell it. I was just joking, trying to be funny again. But what we're going to do, because where we are right here now, we haven't got any, sp any spare parts? No, there isn't. So what we're going to do, we're going to try and fix it. So what we're going to do, we're going to pop this cover off. Mitch, you need to grab uh, 10 mil. We're going to take off those three nuts there. And then we're going to remove these cables and stick some lubrication down hold it up we're going to lubricate down the cable and work it up and down a bit and then get it back together and then we'll do another foot model thing at the end and see if it's made any improvement let you know so to fix it you can change the cable to try and fix it you can try and lubricate it it's not just about holdens or fords or toyotas or nissans this is any vehicle you've got to think outside right, so he's just taking the uh, nuts off anyway the 10 mil don't drop it whatever you do and yes it is hot because we've just driven the uh vehicle about uh, what 20 minute drive careful what you're leaning on as well don't lean it because that's plastic don't lean on anything that's plastic all right so this is a lesson here and there's so many lessons in these videos mitch is going to get some lessons don't drop it man don't go oh it's hot and drop it just quickly put it somewhere all right now we're going to lift this cover off just lift it off carefully so again it won't be hot really it'll be warm it's plastic but just two hands each side gently no, gently gently wiggle it from each side and lift carefully, because it's gonna hit those wires at the back. And now lift it out toward you gently, tilt it that way, slowly, gently, work out which way that's it. Now go put that down somewhere, you're not gonna lose it. Like someone already lost a nut, didn't they? Not us, whoever worked on it last. Could be down in here somewhere, that's what I'm looking for. But anyway, anyone wondering those blue things? They're petrol fuel injectors. Yeah, look at that. They're just pretty basic to be quite honest. Um, just check all the wiring, make sure it's not getting hot rubbing on anything. Now, what are we doing here? I'm getting distracted. I want to start pulling the engine apart. It's going to be in other videos later. Hopefully, uh, I'll be able to video that, get someone else on the job. So you've got a couple of uh, sensors here. We're not into that. We're into this cable. So we want to get to this cable and get this cable off. And I've got to start thinking because I haven't done this for decades, right? So I'm going to guess this one's the cruise control cable. And this one's going to be the throttle cable. Mitch, can you just jump in the car? Just touch that accelerator again like you were before so everybody can have a look and see. I'm sure it's this one because I've changed them, but let's just do this for the exercise anyway. You see this one go tight. Yep, that's it. All right. All right, no worries. So can you push the accelerator again, please, Mitch? All right, so there's a push it and hold it there. Push it and hold it. All right, so there's a clip here. 
that something or other that comes off, I can't remember, but we'll all figure it out together, right? You might not be able to see it in the video because it's hard to get around there and I need to get in there. So what I think I do normally is take note of your adjustment, obviously, we're not gonna change that. We're gonna loosen off this nut, it's probably a 14 mil or something like that. And then we'll pop this clip off and the whole cable will come off. We'll spray some CRC down there and um, see if that works, work it in and out a bit. Maybe a bit of silicon spray, maybe a bit of spray grease, maybe this, I don't really see that much is gonna get in here like dust and dirt, like a four wheel drive. So plenty of lubrication, I don't think it'll hurt. Worst case scenario, it's gonna run down the cable and fill up the car with CRC. <laughs> All right mate, grab that 14 mil spanner. Oh, it doesn't fit. Why did I say 14 mil? Give it up mate, it's not gonna work. Now grab that other one out of your other hand that I said to grab as well, because I had a feeling. Is that too big? <laughs> <laughs> the truth of the matter is, it's probably 9 16 but we're using a 15 mil because 15 works. Does it feel a bit loose, Mitch, or is it about right? About right. Let me, let me have a feel. That's enough anyway. Let me have a, just let me have a feel. I want to just go. Let me just tighten it up again. All right. Double handed business going on. Yeah, see it? Look. See how it's loose, right? Right? That's because this car is one of those cars I've talked about in videos previously. Back in the day, it's kind of probably half Imperial, half metric, if that makes sense. So technically, it's probably a 916. And we don't really carry much in the way of Imperial tools. So we're just going to keep using this uh, 15 mil. So that's it. What are we doing? We're going like this, just to loosen that a bit. Remember, we loosened this side. Oh, let me think, actually. I have to get it all the way back to get it out of there. Because it doesn't slide sideways, this one, does it? Yeah, I'll we'll have to push the accelerator or something. can't remember. Let me have a look. So what you've got to do is just twist it. See, there's a flat spot there, right? So, um, you can twist it and put it. I'm looking at the camera. I can't work and look at the camera, right? So that's, so I <laughs> can't hold the camera in the right spot. Here we go. That's why you, it's a two person job, this working on cars and trying to video things, right? So you got to twist it to the flat spot to get it to go in and out of position, right? So we've just loosened off the outside. As long as we don't adjust the inside, um, it's not an issue. And if you had a new one, you can adjust it up anyway, make it have a bit of fun. Get a bit crazy, look, let's spin that a little bit. No, no, we shouldn't be. But we can adjust it later anyway. That's another story, okay? Take a rough idea where it's at so you can go how many threads up it is, right? How many threads you got there? And hopefully it hasn't moved, all right? So now we're gonna unclip it. I can't even see how to do that yet because we're working in the dark here at the moment because the light isn't on and I can't put a light in the way while I'm trying to fit a camera in a small gap to show you what's going on. But we're gonna unclip it, put the lubrication down the cable. Anyway, next step is obviously I got the light. And if you get in behind there, you can see this clip and you just basically get your flat blade. You can see the mark that I even probably left there doing it. I don't know if I did that or not, but anyway, just basically push one side and it'll just, the clip will stay on there. It'll just unclip, it's like a little ball type arrangement. I'm trying to get it to focus right so you can see, but it's not working out right. Anyway, and it'll just push on when it's time to put it back together. So now what we want to do is hold the cable up and put some lubrication. It just doesn't want to focus in the right spot, does it? Anyway. Put some lubrication down this hole. Of course, I'd like to inspect the cable as well. So I'm going to have a look at it. Make sure it's not frayed or anything. I don't believe it is. I'll let you know if it is. We'll lube it, get it back together. Opposite way we put it, took it off, and we'll let you know if it worked. All right, so we thought you'd give you an idea what we're going to use. I'm going to use, I'm going to go for the quality products for this job. I'm going to put a bit of Inox MX3 down there first, work it a bit. Then I'm going to put some MX4 and work it a bit. And then we're going to finish off with a bit of lithium grease spray, lithium grease and work it a bit and get it all back together. All right, mate, show us what you're gonna do. Get in the hole. Get in the hole, get the tube in the hole. All right, bend, you have to bend it, stretch it, point it downwards. Whoa, that's heaps, that's heaps. Whoa, that'll do. Take it out now, all right? Let's work it a little bit. Okay, so what we've done is we've sprayed the MX-3, we've worked it a little bit, and what did you say? It worked like a dream. Okay, it goes like a dream. Anyway, now we've got the MX-4, you got it in the hole there. Let's see what you're doing. Just give it a little spray. Bit more. When you see it come out the top, stop. Now give it a bit more. Get it in there first. That's it, that'll do. Just let it go down the hole. Hold the cable up to the key, because we want it to run down the cable. Now you could take the cable out from under here to get it, yeah, but I'm like not that fussed about it, because I want to do the half a job, and if it doesn't work, we can get, if we go, it's a bit better, but it needs a bit more, we'll come back again next time. All right, put that down, put that down. Just put the cable down and let it go. Just go over there, grab that can of lithium grease. Give it a good shake, because it's got a ball bearing in it, so it's spray paint. Give it heaps of shaking. Heaps more shaking. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Shake it up and down. Let's go. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. 
Check it, check it, check it, check it, check it. That's it, all right, now. Bring it around here, stick the tube in there. Don't miss or you'll get it all over your hands. Slowly, slowly. Hey, careful, the customer's car paintwork, mate. Look at this, careful. Mate, bloody hell. All right, it, a lot's gonna come out. Stop, grab the rag, wrap the rag and go like this. This is what you do, right? Watch this, watch this. All right, so what you do, stick the tube in there. Don't spray. Get the tube in the hole, get in there, get it. That's it, now you go like this, you get your fingers and you squeeze that like that, right? And give it a couple little squeezes. That'll do. Whoa, okay, that's it. I don't think we're getting anything else in there, but there ain't no dust and dirt or anything going in there now. There's heaps of lubrication. So you can take that out now. Go put all the sprays over there on the shelf for me, and we'll get this thing back together and see what right, happens. People. So Mitch is gonna hold the camera for this part. Can you show the cable back up a little bit? See this cable here, right? If we lock this up, for example, I'm just over exaggerating. If we lock this up, I don't know. Let's say we brought that in too much. See the slack in the cable? You get the picture, people? Can't see, I've just clipped it back on. Go back a little bit, Mitch, so I can see more of the picture, right? So you've got all this slack in the cable. So you, the way you adjust that out is, your pedal free play is, by just bringing that nut out there and bring the cable out till you just take that slack out of the cable. So then you've got, you know, if you go too far, again, another example, which way am I going this way? Right, you can actually, if you pull it, see the throttle coming off the stop, the butterfly, the, uh, you know what I mean? So you gotta make sure you don't too far. So just go bang, take up the slack without taking any more than that, right? So we've got to bring the nut in, probably to about where it was, right? Just to adjust, get rid of that slack out of the cable and we're gonna lock this up, right? I've got the gloves on, right? So since I've got the gloves on, it, very important, you don't want this to come up. Don't over tighten it, it's, it's plastic, right? So it's just nicely, you just gotta go just nice like that. That's it, job done now. What else is wrong here? Design problem. See the angle of the cable, bring it around a bit, Mitch, if you can. Right, right. See the angle of the cable rubbing on the side of the plastic there? So that could be part of the problem as well, right? So anyway, back it up a bit now. It's all back together. Another part of the problem is that, Bent, that's not good. That's why sometimes replacing the cable is the way to fix things. And I did bring the cable up above, show them over here, up above that line, because I'm not sure where it's meant to be factory, but I just went with common sense because it was down there and that made more of an angle and I want it more straight. So I made the executive decision to bring the cables up the top. So that completes this. Um, and then I step back and I have a look at this and I go, that's not right, as if it's a design fault that that's, far, that's that far out on the cable. And this is the whole problem, mate, you know, doing videos and trying to, you know, get it all right. Put that back in there where it's meant to go and everything will be hunky-dory. And I'm, I'm one man. So I don't even like that twisting. So, Mitch, grab that for a sec, can you? Just hold that. Thanks, mate. I don't even like that twisting. I want that to stay where it's meant to be there. So I've got to hold the plastic and just might even anti-twist it a bit so it doesn't twist. And then, might look a bit better on the cable there. There's still a little bit angled, so there's a still a bit of design fault there. Right around here, it's a little bit on the side, but not as bad as it was before. Now you can see at least it's fitted correctly, not where I had it out here before. So, all right, let's test it. Jump in the car, hit the gas. No need to start it up. Just gently push that accelerator the way you were before and yell out, tell me the outcome. Is it any good? Stiff again? That's why we replaced the cable. So let me see, do it again. Can you push it or not? Is it not even going in? So it's worse than before, is it? Yeah. Oh no. Hey people, don't lubricate the cable, just get a new one. Thanks for watching. Butter bing, butter boom. Try to save you some money. It looks like we'll be ordering a cable. Anybody want to put in the comments where we should buy one from? Love to know. All right, Mitch. Okay, take your foot off it. Start it up. And get ready to switch it off in case I've done something wrong. Start it up, though. Okay, now just give it a little rev and just see how it works with the engine running. It's better. Better? Better. You sure? Yeah, no, it's not stiff. For me okay, all right. Let, it, let, it, let your foot off it. Switch it off. So what are you saying? It's it's better. 
It's stiff when it, the engine is Yeah, running. well, it's, probably, it's going to feel stiff, but it's lubricated now. So, look, people, give it some time, um, and we'll let you know in another video when we're working on the Commodore, and we'll say, and by the way, and look, with a bit of use, man, I think it'll get better as well. All right, people, thanks for watching. Catch you on the next video. Hopefully it helped you. This might work on any vehicle. you just got to think. Fixing cars, fixing things, it's all about thinking. Switch that brain back on and think what you can do to fix something. Hope this one's helped. Seriously, hit the like button if it did or if it got you thinking. And, uh, you know, subscribe if you want. We'll catch you on the next one. See ya.